I'm Caleb Brooks with the HSAA Radio Network. I'm at Headland High School, joined by Benjamin Harris, center here for Headland. And uh, Benjamin, for you guys, man, it's a huge week. Uh, this is really what you work for. It's basically an extra playoff game for yes, you sir. guys. And uh, it's a must-win situation to get in. And, um, you know, for you guys coming into this year, a lot of hype around this team. You know, y'all went from 1-9 and nine and then go to 10-2 and two last year. And then, you know, a lot of people had big expectations. And... It's just football, man. Sometimes injuries happen. Your quarterback goes out. Your running back goes out. And I feel like you guys have really been able to handle it well. You're still sitting at a 4-3 and three record right now. And you guys have given yourselves an opportunity to get in the postseason this year. Yes, sir, we are. It's been – we had it. We started out pretty good. We started out solid. But we had a, a couple big setbacks. And I think I'm proud of the team and how we've handled it and being able to bounce back and show that we can go through this adversity very well and come back and be strong. You know, when you lose two key players the way that y'all did, and you know, quarterback and a running back, I mean, how does that affect an offense, especially y'all's? I mean, there's a there's a big mentality to it. I mean, it's kind of, that was a lot of the reason that we had our plays, but we've also had kids that have stepped up and filled those roles, and it's kind of showed us that, you know, it's not necessarily all about this one player and about this one position. It's that, you know, as if we come together as a team and we all perform the best of our ability, we can come through with a win. You know, when you lose guys, especially a quarterback or a running back, there's a lot of communication that goes on from the running back to the line, quarterback to the line. Yes. And so when you lose that, it takes some time to get that back. Do you kind of feel like you are getting to a point now where you all kind of finally have that down with the guys that have stepped up? Yes, sir. I mean, it's a, it really helps to have that communication and understand each other and know what each, each other's preferences are. And so we got that going now, and we're going pretty strong with it. And so we're, I, I'd like to think that we're back up to full speed right now. You know, being the, the center um, on the team, it's up to you to call out the defense, to get everybody aligned, to know who you're blocking. And so, you know, how much pressure do you kind of put on yourself to be the guy that, that lets everybody know, you know, what, what what's going on, the way that you need to line up, and to make sure that everybody's doing what they need to do? Um, I, I, I Personally, I like the role. I like to be able to, you know, help people out and make sure everybody's doing their jobs and stuff. But, I mean, at, t at times it can be kind of hard when you're down or losing the game or – someone's getting mad about a play, it's, it can be hard to settle them down and get them back into doing the right thing. But mm -hmm. it's very rewarding whenever you get out with the right outcome. And, you know, when you're at the center position and, and you know, you get a lot of different things thrown at you and you're calling out, you know, what linebacker that you're getting and yes, stuff sir. like that, you know, I mean, how important is that for an offense to be able to have all that down before play and, you know, especially up front for you five to really know who you're supposed to be blocking? Um, it's very important because it, it may, you know, the backside guy, the play may be going to the right and the defensive end on the left, you may think you don't need to block him, but if he's not accounted for, he can come back from behind and ruin a whole play. And if everybody gets their blocks and seals everybody off, it's a good play. But all it takes is one misstep and one missed block for the whole play to be ruined. So every person plays a key role in it, no matter where you are on the field. You know, the region that you guys play in is a tough region. you got really, really good teams in it, and, and you know, it's good competition week in and week out. Yes, sir. You know, how difficult is it when you're playing these teams every week to, you know, play someone and, and kind of get over that game and then just have to refocus on another big game really the next week? Um, a lot of it has to do with just overcoming diversity. You know, we've had adversity at the beginning of the season, and we've had a big, big hump that we had to get over. And, you know, we, we lost two games in a row, and then we lost our third one, our homecoming, and, you know, it's it can be hard to bounce back from that, but I, I'm proud of our team and I'm proud of how we have come back from that and been able to put that behind us and be able to look forward and know that we still have a shot to do great in this season. You know, Headland's football program over time has always just kind of been really inconsistent, up and down. You've had yes, good sir. years, you've had bad years, and, you know, when y'all turned it around last year, I think that, you know, it, it kind of showed people that, you know, maybe Headland's getting back going in the right direction. How much does your group kind of want to be the group that kind of starts establishing the consistency? Um, it's it's a very, everybody's very proud and very excited to be part of that group. And um, a, a lot of us, honestly, we were surprised. You know, last year we started winning games and it was just kind of a shock. You know, it's like we're a pretty good football team. Yeah. And so, and this year we came out strong. We got a few wins under the belt. And I think now that we're back into it, everybody's, we're proud to create a good reputation for Edmund. You know, the game this week, you know, Dale County and, and, and the importance of it. I mean, how big is it for this program to get a win and get into the postseason to kind of talk, you know, to establish what we were talking about, the consistency of getting into the yes. postseason? 
I think it's very important. I mean, Headland, we don't have a very good reputation to go into playoffs. And this also is a, a rivalry game. We kind of we know a lot of players, too. Mm-hmm. And so it's it'll be a good game to win and get spirits up, morale up, and also to get us in a playoff spot for first round for sure. So it's a very key game, and I think it's very important. And um, I'm excited to play tomorrow. You know, we talked about all the hype and things like that. If you guys can get in. Um, you know, you feel like this is one of those teams that can be a pretty dangerous, you know, lower seed that can get some wins early and really get hot? Yes, sir, it can be. Um, you know, last year when we played them, we, we were coming off of a good game, but we came in and it was a close game. And I think one of the biggest things is to not let it be kind of get off our high horse and, you know, not be prideful and go into the game humble and be able to play hard and work hard and we'll get the results. Well, man, I really appreciate you taking time to sit down with me. Good luck to you guys. Um, Thank you. you It's a fun time of year. This is what you work for. Uh, Enjoy it, and, and I wish you guys nothing but luck, man. Yes, sir. Thank you.